Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm checking out the Elite Acoustics D658 amplifier. Now a while ago I reviewed the awesome Stomp Mix 4 from Elite Acoustics. It's an amazing, amazing digital mixer that fits literally in the palm of your hand. I love this thing. I've been using it at home on my desk for recording and it's a really, really great tool. I plan to put it on a board eventually to take it out to shows and things like that. But what the acoustics have done is something pretty amazing. They've basically put this mixer inside this 120 watt battery powered amplifier. So you can take that mixer wherever you go and perform. It's an all in one system. So again, if you watch that video of the mixer, You'll get a lot of crossovers there, so I do encourage you to watch that video. And also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and ring that notification bell to see when I release a new video or go live. So let's talk about the amp. First of all, a few specs for you. It weighs around 30 pounds, and it's battery powered four to six hours of battery life. This is an amazing amp if you wanna be wireless on the go. It has Bluetooth streaming from your phone. I've tried that, works great. So this is a very powerful amp, unlike some of the other battery powered amps that I've had on the channel. What I like the most about this, as you can see, is that it uses a digital screen like the mixer does. So some amps that I've featured have an app, that can be cool but fiddly. Some amps have a lot of controls on the amp, which is great, this one does too. But this is a really nice hybrid, that's what I love about this. It's got the flexibility of being digital, but there's not many menus to go through. It's not like you'll be deep diving or anything like that. Don't worry about that. It's also got some physical controls. If you look on the top here, you've got a treble, middle, and bass. That's great for shaping the tone for the room you're in or a quick tweak on the fly with your hand. I love hybrid gear. I love having the versatility of digital and the simplicity of analog kind of controls in one unit. And that's where Elite Acoustics really do a great job. I love it. So a few specs for you. The speakers are an eight inch woofer, a five and a quarter inch woofer, and a one inch silk dome tweeter. So you've got three speakers there. 120 watt class D amplifiers. And like I said, around 30 pounds. So it's not exactly a portable amplifier. This is something that you can take around and have a lot of headroom with. And sometimes we need that. If you're playing outside, if you're playing in the loud room, this will deliver with the 120 watts. It's really great for that. But do bear in mind that Lead Acoustics make smaller versions of the amp as well. They have many products and I encourage you to go to their website and check them all out. But today we're focusing on this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this Rainsong vintage guitar with the awesome Bags Anthem pickup. It's an under saddle, transducer and a microphone. I'm gonna record that into my looper. There's no processing here, just the loop. I'll record that and then we can walk through what the controls on the amp do with the loop playing. So here's a loop for you, let's play some guitar. Okay, awesome. So let's go to a close up of the amp. Here it is right here. So here's the main button. You've got channel one, two, three, four, and then five and six. This is a six channel amp with that Bluetooth connection as well. So here's main for my volumes and my pan. That's as simple as that. Let's try auxiliary. We can set an auxiliary mix here. Again, each channel has an output and a pan. System, input levels, very important. If I just go back to the guitar, you want to set that level nice and healthy, but not too high. So I'm at minus 12 right there. So that's where you set your input levels and you set your routing. This amp has MIDI as well. XLR out has its own EQ. Not a bunch of controls on the top of this amp, but a lot of control within the amp and not too hard to get to things. No deep menu diving or anything. It's very straightforward. Scenes is where you can save a scene, either for a certain guitar and pickup or for a certain room that you play in. Another great feature of a digital mixer. And there's your firmware version there. So that's all those controls. On the right is our effects. We've got chorus, delay, and reverb. Same thing applies. If I click on chorus, I can send it to each channel. Channel one, two, three, or four, five, six. Press again. I've got the parameter. This one has a depth parameter. And same for delay. I can send it to wherever I want and set the BPM, the level, the modulation, the feedback, those kind of things there. That's on one channel only. So if I want it on channel one, I set one right there. And then reverb, again, send it to whichever channel. 
and there's your parameters. Very, very flexible, very, very easy. Now, this is the most important thing. If we click on channel one, we get a low cut, a high, a mid frequency, a mid control, and a low, a low control. Very, very, very powerful. I mean, the low cut is something that I wish all amps had, and that's great that it's on here. I can set that to say 100, and it will just cut everything below that very gently to get rid of that rumbling and those kind of sounds. Most people use around 80, I like 100. On something like K&K, &K, you can bring this right up to 130, 140, and get rid of all that uh, potential feedback. It's really awesome. Then you can shape your sound here, look low, mid. You can set the mid frequency, which is great. Really, really cool that you can do that. Really flexible, look at that, all the way from 0.1K all the way up to 6K. And you can set the high here. Now the thing is, you've, it's great that you have this, you also have physical controls. So if you're just playing the guitar, you could leave this flat and then use your physical controls to make your adjustments. Or you can use a combination of the two. That's what makes this so powerful. Now, let's play that loop and see what we can do. Okay, I'll join you on the screen for this part. Now, let me show you the power of these controls. Here's the loop. And here's what the low cut does. If you bring it up, but listen carefully, do use headphones, by the way. You can take all that low end out. Now, you don't want to do that, but it's nice that you can take out maybe up to 80, get rid of that low rumbling sound. On something like a K&K, &K, keep going. Take all that rumble out of the K&K. &K. This pickup is fine. I think it has some EQ in the preamp anyway, so I'll leave that on 80. Maybe you want more low end. Let's turn it up here. Very powerful, very easy. Less and more. So I'm gonna warm this pickup up. Here we go. Now mid frequency, this is how I like to do it. Turn it up and sweep through. If there's something you don't like, then we can cut it out. Say you don't like that, you could cut it all out. Don't cut too much though, or you'll lose all your power. I like mid, so I'm gonna leave it right there. And then the high is here. Be careful with this, you can add some hiss if you add too much. Most people tell me they wanna cut the highs. So there you go, that's how you do it. Let's reduce it right here. That's a warmer sound, that's the regular sound, that's a brighter sound, depending on how you're playing, what you're playing. So very, very subtle, but very effective. I love that. Let's just put some reverb on there to see how that sounds. So I'll start the loop and I'll press on the reverb button. Channel two, there's your reverb. Way too much, I'll bring it down, just a little bit. And let's just hear that chorus for fun. It's a nice sounding chorus. Again, don't overuse the effects, but it's nice to have them, right? And here's your delay. There it is. A nice sounding delay. So this is where I'm at. I've shaped my sound to sound exactly how I want it to, and I can send this to the front of the house. And of course, I can also hear it on stage. Now you can easily adjust that on the amp, like I just showed you, or you can just reach over and use the high control. Now here's the great thing about this amp. I love this. You've also got the three band EQ for the amp itself. So as you're hearing the direct sound right now, that won't affect that. So you send that XLR out to the sound engineer at the gig, and they have an unaffected sound and they can mix it for you. But on stage, you can use these controls to shape the amp. You've got another high, another mid, and another low. So if you need to make a quick change for yourself on stage, turn those. Again, I love the fact this is a hybrid with the benefits of digital and the benefits of the controls on the amp. It's absolutely awesome. Now what I'm gonna do now is give you an actual demo of a song. I've done the same thing. I've recorded one of my original songs with the guitar and the voice on separate tracks, completely unaffected, into the amp. I'm gonna play you an example of a microphone in front of the amp and also a direct out into my audio interface. 
I'm also going to play you a quick backing track that I put together with PG Music's Band in the Box so you can hear music that's being streamed from my phone to the amp and you can hear the bass and drums and sounds that you might have on a backing track or music that you play in your break. So let's check that out right now. It's like rain falling down on the ocean Like you believing in me I won't break down like I did before Just call my name and I'll be there Just call my name and I'll be there like I was before special you It's like rain falling down on the ocean Like you believing in me I won't break down like I did before Just call my name and I'll be there Just call my name and I'll be there like I was before special you Okay, so what did you think? Please write in the comments below what you think of the sound of this amp. I'm always interested to hear. Like I said, I absolutely love it. I love the flexibility. I love the sound. The sound of this thing is awesome and the tone shaping abilities are just what a lot of people need to get just the sound that they want. It sounds great with guitar. It sounds great with voice, which is very important. Some amps don't do voice so well. This is more of a PA kind of sound, like a PA speaker and that's really useful. And speaking of that, it has a regular PA stand mount on the bottom, another thing that is a must for me. So when you're playing live, you can raise it up and get it right above your head so everyone in the room can hear the sound. Now it doesn't come with a cover, but obviously a battery powered amp of this quality calls to be taken out on the road. If you're gonna do that, Elite Acoustics do sell a gig bag for the amp and it looks very nice. I haven't tried it, but it looks like it's very well made as well and I highly encourage you to buy one of those as well. The price right now is around $1,200 and you can buy direct from Elite Acoustics. So this is a more of a premium amp than some of the ones I've covered on the channel, but like I said, when you want the quality, the features and the extra volume, I think you have to pay for it. And I still feel this is very competitively priced compared to some other options on the market. 
Remember, you're getting that digital mixer, all those inputs, the Bluetooth connection, all those things in one. And that's a really nice thing. I just wanna show you the connections that we have on the back of the amp, because this is really great too. We have a plus 48 volt phantom power option for your microphones that need it. We also have a gain control, a mute control, a pad, a mic line or instrument selector, instrument input, line input or microphone input. And then we also have the DI out and a quarter inch out as well. The battery level on the back tells you if it's charging low power, normal power or charged. Very useful. Don't forget to flick that battery switch where it says connected or disconnected for the battery when you receive the amp or it will not work. So all in all, I really think Elite have done a great job here. The most important thing is it sounds great. I love the sound of this amp. It just sounds so good. And I love the flexibility. I really believe that you can dial in any pickup with this amp. I really like the fact it has two EQs essentially and also some other functions that I didn't mention yet, such as a notch control if you've got some feedback and a phase control for switching the phase. Other amps don't have these features and they can be really useful for dialing in sound. So I love what they're doing at Elite Acoustics. I love this amp. I'm gonna be using it because I think it sounds so good. I encourage you to check them out. If you've got one or if you've got any Elite Acoustic products, please let me know in the comments below what you think of them. I love to hear your thoughts as well. And if you're looking for a great battery powered amplifier right now, I encourage you to check this one out. It really is very impressive. I really like it a lot. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and ring the bell. I got lots more reviews coming soon. I'm hoping to make some videos on EQ and how to actually get the best from your guitar pickups. And a product like this will really help you to achieve some great results. So be well and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.